What if we, if we lift the curtain and then zoom in? All right, here we go, great, okay, great. <laughs> okay, this is a, a high-energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this snout in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching the snout. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. All right, cool. So as you can see, uh, we have a healthy and happy pig, um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, uh, you know, kind of loving life, and uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two months old, two months old, and working well. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> um, and then um, we actually have. I'm sure, <laughs> I hope this works. Is so we said, well, what if we do two Neuralink implants? Um, and we've been able to uh, do uh, dual neural link implants uh, in, th um, actually, I think three pigs at this point, and we have a couple of them here. Um, and we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple neural links implanted, um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So, um, so it's possible to have multiple links in your, in your head and have them all be sending out signals, and you're working well. All right. <laughs> Phew. All right, so we just showed you a demonstration of uh, reading brain activity. And um, let's see, you probably see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike. And the, um, the, the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. So, uh, in, in, in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, uh, when we have, um, say, um, one of our pigs on a treadmill, <laughs> pig on a treadmill, <laughs> um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints you can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. Now in terms of, of right 